Hello everyone, my name is Savannah. Welcome if you're new. Today I decided to start building in my Forest of Valor. I kind of had started setting up a very elegant area for a dream snap and decided to continue it throughout the biome. Although I really wasn't planning doing the speed build to be honest, but I really felt motivated to start decorating around Daisy's new Touch of Magic boutique because I'm spending a lot of time there and I want the outside of it to look really pretty for Daisy. Also, if I ever do decide to invite some visitors over to shop my Touch of Magic store, this will be perfect to have it really nicely decorated outside. For a while, I've been wanting to set up a really pretty princess area in my Forest of Valor. I think that this is a great biome for all of the castles because they are so large and this is quite a big biome with plenty of space to spread the castles out. And now that we have the Touch of Magic shop, I moved it into the forest because I'm like, you know, my princesses need somewhere to shop for all the latest designs and fashions, get all their new dresses and gowns for balls. So I thought that that would be perfect for this biome. And since I moved the Touch of Magic boutique into the forest, I thought that it would be really cool to set up kind of like a little shopping market over there. And that made me curious to see how Belle's library may look in the Forest of Valor. I previously had this home set up in my cottage village in the Sunlit Plateau, which I absolutely love. And I do have a full tour of that biome if you do want to check it out, but I thought it might be nice to see the bookshop over here in the forest. And since we have Belle's Cottage now, I thought that I could place Belle's Cottage over in the Sunlit Plateau. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. I think it could kind of work as if Belle moved from Sunlit Plateau away from Gaston and her cottage and now lives with Beast in the castle in the forest and they have their bookshop and the flower stall. Just as I thought I was figuring this all out, my game crashed. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of what I had done, but I did take some time and just quickly add that back in. So if you notice anything is different, that is why. I decided to try to make Rapunzel's Tower kind of like a centerpiece in between these two lanes of the shopping district. I don't know if I actually love her tower there now looking at it. I feel like it kind of blocks the shop buildings, so I think I might relocate it. I just think it might be better in a different location of the forest. But anyway, we're rolling with it for now. I started using this gold and opal street pack with the border right in back of Rapunzel's house and I decided to make this a little sitting area with a fountain from the Hercules furniture set. I also added in the fairy tale gazebo, the enchanted stone bench, and I surrounded the gazebo with a few of the Forest of Valor flower bushes. Okay, not gonna lie, once I saw this set up, I really fell in love with it. I am just obsessed with the Hercules furniture and I can't wait to see what more is added to that collection. And I decided to go with a very structured build over here in the forest. And that is something that I don't typically do. I typically keep my builds very natural, free flowing, but here I had a lot of fun with making the build very structured and I tried to line everything up as best I could. And I really just kind of rolled with it from this point on. I made a few adjustments in front of my palace, just moving a few of the items that I had placed from my previous dream snap here. And I ended up creating a bunch of these small gardens leading up to the palace and also kind of blending into the beginning of the shopping district. This ended up being really perfect for me because I play on the Switch and as you can see, I'm getting very very close to my item limit of 3,000 items. So doing a build like this allows my character to easily run around. I don't have to run into items because there's not a lot of clutter everywhere. And also it keeps the items pretty low because I'm here I'm really just using the path, which doesn't count towards your item limit, the fountain, and of course the shrubs. So it's really not too bad. I found that this was a really great way for me to fill this space without using a ton of items. and. I'm really pleased with the beautiful garden results. Looking back, one thing that I did add to this build that you don't see in this video is some path on the right side leading up to the castle here. I don't know why I didn't think to add that as I was recording, but I felt 
that it really needed path on the other side. I kind of want to put a building on the right there as well, or maybe a little stall or something. I haven't quite decided, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. This area is definitely not done, but so far I think this is a great start. One other thing I did experiment with is adding in these floral arches. They fit perfectly next to the shrubs in this little fountain area. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I did end up removing them, but let me know what you guys think of this look. I think it's pretty cute. Although it does block a little bit more of the garden. So yeah, I have not decided on that yet, but I know that I want to use as many of those floral arches in this biome as I can. In fact, I've already added a few more of the floral arches in front of the Touch of Magic Boutique since recording this speed build. I'm very much still workshopping this build, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Already this area is so peaceful. I love coming over here and listening to all of the fountains trickling. It's just so calming and relaxing. And then moving forward, I plan on extending this little shopping area a bit to the side here. So if you guys have any recommendations for shop ideas and things I can place here, please let me know. And this will all lead up to the pink castle, which I'm planning on making my main home next. So subscribe to see how this build continues. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.